Come on, somebody. He lives. Just lift your hands and say he lives. Alexa, turn off. <laughs> is he living in your life today? Is, uh, is he your light that is shining? <laughs> Not on my forehead, but is he the light shining in your life today? Now, we're still in our self-examination month of September. We, we have two more days left. We are in our 28th day of fasting. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm not looking forward to breaking a fast. I am looking forward to what the results of my fast is. And uh, I'm excited that God is, is, is revealing and, and delivering and, and, uh, and putting into me uh, what his plan is for my life in this season. We, we all, we all, we all, we all, you just say it with me. We all are seasonal. It is meant for us to know our season, know our lane, know where we're supposed to be uh, uh, positioned at every moment of this walk that we're endeavoring here on earth. Oh, yes, we could be like everybody else and just say, I'm living my life. I'm doing what my life is. No, no, we are now on assignment to now be effective in the results of our lives. You, you, you want to uh, 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 input into others a legacy that you can do it, and so can they. And if we if we don't if we don't um, hinder ourselves on our growth potential, now it gives us an opportunity to give someone else the growth potential. I mean, yesterday's word was so good. I've listened to that message five times. <laughs> Practice what you preach. It, it's, mo it's, it's most evident in us that as 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 men and women of God children of God, as believers, that we really, really, really take full responsibility of everything that we have been involved in. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to everyone. And, and, and that now we see the accountability factor that is now, that, that now moves because it's what not so much what I say, but what I do, uh, for, especially those of us that are believers. I, I'm, this is self-examination month of September. I hope you're I hope I'm not telling you all about you, but you're revealing some things to you about yourself. That you're now saying, oh, no, let me be more conscious. Let me be more uh, uh, accountable today because of what I am holding account, what, what I'm holding held to according to the word of God. Yes, we all must watch our steps. Excuse me. We must all be intentional. Y'all know I like it straight. <laughs> that we, we must all be intentional on everything we do for God. Yes, Minister Terry, that message was on fire. I'm telling you, I'm still being blessed. I'm not sure. I was even like, oh, Lord, let me go back there today. He said, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I want you to stay right where you are. <laughs> I said, okay, God, all right. I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to be obedient. I am going to be obedient. And knowing if you're really serious, I'm talking to those, and, and, and let, me, let me take a little station break right now. I want to touch and agree with our covenant partners. If you have not gotten a message or if, some, if, if it, she hasn't cried out to you guys, as covenant partners, I want us to link in and I want us to surround and cover Minister Rhonda. Uh, she's dealing with some head headaches and some and some pains in her body. And uh, um, and it's been going on for a couple of days. And we want to pray with her. Her faith is strong. She's asking us to now connect with her faith. Like look, look like the face, like the, the shirt says, faith over fear. So we want to elevate over fear. We want to be on the right side of the cross. We want to be on the same side that when we touch and agree, come on, dab with me, touch with me, that it's done. Just say it's done. Just say it's done. The pain just receded. Just see uh, uh, Facebook tried to go out. Uh, it, it, look, and it's done. I, look, I'm trying to say we're praying and the Facebook started going around like it was a, a, a technical difficulty. No, it's done. Come on, say it. It's done. It's done. As we agree with it being done, watch, you're going to see the power. She's going to be running around like, what happened? Where'd it go? 
she might not even be on here right now. And all of a sudden, she just the, the pain just went away. The headache just was released. The power of God has, 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 has fell on her right now. The yoke has been destroyed and the burden has been removed. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's done. See how we've elevated to faith over fear? Fear would tell you, oh, that pain ain't going to never go away. It ain't going to never be done. No, 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 no. You have to know that it's already done. Are you ready to connect with the already done? Go into faith mode over fear mode. And yes, you can get this T-shirt at the Now Church California uh, a bookstore uh, uh, for sale now. You can get any. We got several items in the Now Church California bookstore that you can buy yourself. The Faith Over Fear, the, uh, 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 the I'm Built for This shirt. So many of the shirts that we've made over the years. Uh, that, that, that section of Ease Tees on the website will be coming uh, before the end of 2020. That's one of our goals uh, in our preparation for the vessel. Mm, yes. We're also connecting and staying in agreement with Minister Carolyn Hamilton, who uh, was rushed back to the hospital last week. We talked with her. God, God has done miraculous things. We need to pray for recovery side on her. God told me she's healed, but she's not recovering. I'm going to say that again. He told me clear. He said, she's healed. Stop praying for the heal for her. Pray for the recovery. Now, we don't have to put it out there and say what recovery uh, is, is, is uh, a defined as. But that's what he told me. He said, stop praying for healing. Pray for recovery. Recovery that is gone. Recovery that is finished. Recovery that we get better. See, when you recover, it means you don't have to keep going through the same thing. Uh-uh. That it must go. That sickness must die. It must leave her now in the recovery stage. Come on. Say it's done. Say it's done. Ooh, somebody took off running. Ooh, my God. Somebody took off running. Ooh, somebody else took off running. Somebody said, well, were they still sitting down? No, your spirit just ran. <laughs> now, watch this. I didn't see her on there, but we were praying for Minister Rhonda. Now, she's praying for somebody else's recovery. That's what prayer is all about. You pray for me. I pray for you. That means we are praying. Elevate faith over fear. Go to the next level. Next level. Next level. Say it's done. Say it's done. Say it's done. Say it's done. Oh, somebody else took off running. <laughs> Woo! Gracious God, I love you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I love me some Jesus. Believe me. Without no, without no question. Oh. How I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Come on, sing that with me this morning. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, do y'all remember that song? That goes way back there. Oh, man, that just dropped in my spirit. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, just to know that he first loved me. Hmm. I got to take a break on that one. Oh, Jesus. I got to take a break on that one. Cause just to know that he first loved you. My God. To know that he first loved me. To know that I was important. Hmm. About his love. Let's not even talk about sacrifice or anything else. Just to, just to take a moment and, 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 and look at his love. Oh, my I'm so gracious and so thankful that as we pray together, we can find joy with one another. Ooh, I thank you, Lord. It's amazing. I hope you can just, uh, uh, you know, we've been talking about, um, we've, we've been talking about the effectiveness and are you seeing 
if you could just testify right now that you, no matter where you are, you just experience God's healing because of your confession. Oh my God. And to know that it's because he loved me. Because of the blood? Yes, oh yes, because of the blood. He first loved me. He first loved you. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, thankful. I'm so thankful. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy. Come on. We just take a moment just to be thankful. <laughs> you trying to make me preach, Minister Terry? She be throwing the scriptures at me. You know I'll flip in a minute. Y'all be like, okay, he went there. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I will go there. Amen. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father God. Ooh. Mm. Do you love the Lord? Mm. He loves you. <laughs> he loves you. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, so come on, come on back down. Come on. I'm telling you that the power, the anointing that was on that prayer right there. Oh my God. Woo. I know you, I don't need you to testify. I know you are healed. Oh mm, my God. And to know it, and to know it according to his word. Amen. Amen. Let's see. What did, what did this see? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go there. Let's see what what uh, Minister Terry wants us to wants to go to today. All right, uh, uh, Chapter Four of First John. I'm gonna test my skills today. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what thus saith the Lord. I know I'm going all the way off of. We were going to be in Luke. That's where we were going to be at. Um. And internet is messing up. Everything is going left field this morning. Um, and normally we'd be flowing. Don't you know that? Normally we'd be flowing. Uh, amen. And we're going We are flowing. Amen. 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 No weapon formed against this, this broadcast will prosper today. Um, that uh, that God will move uh, on our on our behalf today and take away this internet thing. Look, we got the, the phones going left field. We we got all that. You know why? I think it's because of the anointing of healing that is flowing through here. God is saying, just settle, just settle. Yeah, I, I don't normally normally this is not even a, a issue. We never have problems like this. And um we have to know to be conscious even in the midst of it. And don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. There we go. There we go. See, see, you got, you got to, you got to stay focused. And, and sometimes, sometimes, thank you, thank you, Mr. Terry. Sometimes we'll get, we'll get too busy. That's what God is showing us this morning. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He just dropped because everything just came back on. Everything just came back on. Uh, just that, just that fast. And then, what, what's the number one thing? Don't panic and pray. But a lot of times, God is moving and the anointing is flowing, and we get so busy and say, "All right, that's now we're done with that." You know, a lot, God is trying to show us today how to rest in Him, how to really, really rest in Him, how to really, really be effective in resting in Him. We're still in our fasting. Uh, that is, fasting is resting. You'll see that note that 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 uh, that that uh, uh, that assignment go out uh, 
today. Amen. First John chapter four. Let's see what the Lord is. We're gonna be, we are going to be obedient though. Even though everything came up and what I was trying to definition and all this stuff I want to share is up. We're going to just say, uh, let's see what the Lord is going to say in first John chapter four. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit whether they, you know what, I'm about to run up out of here. <laughs> Y'all heard the word yesterday, right? You heard the word yesterday. Okay, I hope you bounce off of this word today. Watch this. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. I want to confess right now that Jesus Christ came to earth in the flesh is of God. I'm going to say that right now. Jesus Christ being Watch this, being conceived, being birthed, living, walking this earth, being crucified, dying, getting up and returning to heaven is of God. I confess that right now. <laughs> right now, I confess it. Watch this. By this, you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses. Now, we're not talking about people. We're not talking about, we're not talking about uh, uh, positions. We're not talking about titles. He says, every spirit, watch this, do not believe every spirit. There's some things, some, 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 some stuff that is rambling through your mind. There's some things rumbling you and you think that is of God. It's a spirit. But what spirit? You got to know the spirit by what? The spirit. Do not believe. See, a lot of our belief systems have been turned because we believe anything. Just because they had the, the right pronunciation, just because they had the right tone, just because they had the right stature or the right position, we believe everything. And if you notice, know as a as 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 a uh, 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 as a um, see, I'm trying not to be uh, 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 um, racial or anything, but if you notice know this as a minority group, you know number one. Is that we've always fallen short because we'll fall for anything. Give us a little dollar. We'll run the mile. And then when it's all gone, then we act like we're having a problem. Oh, my God. <laughs> see, 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 we have to understand, oh, Jesus, that it ain't so much of what you think you're following. It's who you're following. Do you know what spirit you are following? Question number one. All right. Watch this. It says, but test the spirits. Not just one, not just two, not just three. The spirits. You, there's a lot of spirits that we are dealing with that we have to be conscious enough to put a name on it. My God, thank you, Holy Ghost. You got to know the spirit of lying. You got to know the spirit of stealing. You got to know the spirit of adultery. You got to know the spirit of, 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 of deceit. You got to know the spirit of lying. You got to know the spirit of unforgiveness. Because if you don't, you will be now subject to the spirit because you think you're right. For not liking me. You might you might think you got a reason to be angry at them. You might think it's not it's too soon for you to let it go. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. See, the spirit will come in and will try to lead you what the spirit wants you to do. But I know that there is a spirit um, that I follow, and it is Jesus. Watch this. Because many false prophets have come out into this world. Watch this. Come out. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Did you get this? Many false prophets have come out. They've been sitting around a long time. Uh-huh. They was in darkness a long time. Don't you see them popping up here, popping up there, popping up there? Now, you say, how can you? No, 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 no. I am not here to, to throw stones at nobody. That's why he didn't put names or, or descriptions on them. He said they are false Prophets, when you take on the responsibility to try to change, shift, or alter the word of God, you aren't telling the truth. What's the opposite of truth? False. So you might be a false prophet, 
false teacher, false preacher, false uh, uh, apostle, a uh, false uh, 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 um, 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 uh, pastor, bishop, or anything. Are you telling the truth? My God. Look, if y'all are going to get on anybody about this message, call, text Minister Terry and the Holy Ghost because that's who dropped that in her spirit. She said, verse 14, no, God said, start in, in verse 1. And no, this was not planned. Me and her didn't talk about this earlier. This is her obedience to God. And I'm going to be obedient to the word of God. No notes. I'm going straight from the word of God. Watch this. By this, verse 2, you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses. Now, look, he didn't say by these measures or by those measures. He says by this, you, nobody else, just me. Just you. Watch this. He says, but this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Jesus has come in the flesh. Jesus has come in the flesh. He ain't staying in the flesh. No, we got to, that's another level. As believers, we got to know he's no longer here in the flesh. He's back in heaven at the right hand of God. Remember Colossians chapter 3, if you go a little bit further from, from where we were at yesterday in chapter 4, you know that if you have been risen with Christ in verse 1, he said, no longer seek those things which are on earth, but seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated at the, seated, sitting at the right hand of God. Where is God in your eyesight? Where does Jesus reside in your eyesight? So you got to watch what spirits are trying to tell you. You be tossing and turning. You wonder what that is. That is a bunch of spiritual warfare in you trying to lead you to go one way or the other. Now, the good thing about our spirit is only one way. The other spirit, you can identify them because they're trying to make you all undecided. All this fear, undis all this, all, all this non-commitment. It shows you, it shows you, it shows you so many things. You got so many choices. But over here, you got one choice. Follow Christ. Somebody just wrote that down. Oh, somebody else just ran. Oh, some, two, somebody else just ran. Here, I'm going to run with you. <laughs> Watch this. And every, not one, not two, verse three, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and now is already in the world. I was going to tear up some stuff and start running because don't you know this word here was wrote, written a lot of years ago. You ain't, you shouldn't be looking for the Antichrist to come. You should already be knowing that the Antichrist is already out of here. We always try to say something is going to come different. No, the Antichrist been here. <laughs> Because they've been confessing that Jesus Christ was a Mary. They've been confessing that Jesus Christ was of this. Jesus Christ was of that. They've been saying Jesus Christ was a prophet, but he was not God in the flesh. They've been saying that. This ain't something new. And this ain't something new. <laughs> Y'all think we just enduring something new. No, it's just more powerful now because it's of this age. Don't you know that everything changed by seasons? Next level, next level, next level. Those are seasons. Has your, oh, here's a question today. Has your season changed? No, baby, I'm in the same old boat. No, honey, I'm just holding on to God unchanging hand. Oh, no, I'm just waiting on Jesus. You better quit on. You better try to catch up to Jesus. Time wait for nobody. And God is of time. He's moving. And he's moving when? Now. My God, Ooh. it says, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, which you have heard was coming. Oh, oh, oh. and now we encircle that. And now when, 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 now I want to take a little station break on this part because just as important as you for you to choose God now, it's just as important for you to deny the Antichrist now. He's not quit. 
He hasn't given up. Do you know that he's, he, look, look, he's dreading the day when the trumpet sounds. He's dreading the day that we stand all up and say, introducing Jesus. He's dreading the day that we all are on one accord. He's dreading the day. That's why he's at, at work right now. I know you defeated him right then. You better defeat him again. He's a right now antichrist trying to right now destroy you. Trying to right now to confuse you. Trying to right now lead you the wrong way. Trying to right now tear you down. He is here but one reason but to steal, kill, and destroy. God, you need some anointing. You remember, you remember we left that, that bottle with my cousins. Here's some fresh anointing. Woo! Holy Spirit dropping her spirit. God told me to tell her and her husband, my cousins, to use this as lotion, to use this every day, and they haven't been doing it. How do I know? I heard it in the spirit. I'm calling him after this, and I'm going to remind her. I'm going to remind him, hey, man, that bottle, y'all supposed to be rubbing that on y'all every day till it's gone. That ain't something to hold on to. That ain't something to say Kim folk gave it to us. Pastor, he left this with us. God anointed this. This was something for them to use. Now, I got to be honest. But look, whoop, right back at it. <laughs> Ooh, man. Bow. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Anointing, 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 fall. <laughs> Watch this. Verse four. You are of God. Say that. I. You, you, yo, I need you to confess this right now. This is a. This is a purposed message for us today. Say, I am. Of God. Oh, somebody say why? Because the word says I am. <laughs> I am of God. Somebody took off running. I am of God. No, 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 no. I know I'm still a sinner. I know I'm still no good. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm the last and not the first. I know I take the back. I know, but I am a child of God. Watch this. Little children. <laughs> Come on in the playhouse, in the playground. I'm serious about this. Come on in the playground. Don't you know it's important that we really unite? All of us. It's time for us to stop worrying about religions and, and, and differences of opinions and your way against my way and Let's follow uh, <laughs> let, let, let's, 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 let's follow Apostle David and, and Prophetess Kathy. Do it Yahweh. It's time for us to unite. Now I know all lives matters. I know for a fact that black lives matter. I know a fact that your life matters. I know that Caucasian lives matter and Indian lives matter and, and Korean lives, all lives matter. I, but I especially know, and I'm saying this because I'm, I'm affected by this, that black lives matter. But wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to be hearing a lot of this over the next three months. If black lives never unite, how can we ever really matter? Now I say that with I say that with so much sincerity is because we're still hurting each other. We're still beating each other down. We're still killing one another. We're still talking about one another. We're still unforgiving with one another. I want to say to you today is that unity, togetherness, and oneness is most important. That we unite now. This season of pandemic has been for us to really see that we really, really can trust and we really need each other. I've seen it through this network. I've seen it through my ministry. I've seen it in our church. I've seen it in the streets. That we are coming closer. I see that we are joining 
forces, but we can do better. And it starts with us right here. I want to point fingers nowhere else. I don't want to talk to nobody else. I'm talking to you right now that say you are my friend. You say you are my brother. You say you are my sister. We got to get closer. We have to get closer. We have to support each other one, one, more. We got to be on the broadcast. We got to be doing our shows. We got to be doing more. We have to get closer. So we can pray. Uh, wait a minute, you better step out my sermon there. Now look at that. Wait, wait. I said we had to pray and then it popped up. Prayer changes things. Amen. See, we must pray. One spirit. One body. One love. And one Jesus Christ. Uh -uh, take, the, take that out of your mind. What about them? It, let's not talk about them. It, it, see, I'm telling you, the more I worry about me and get me right, it makes it much easier not to worry about you and what you may not be doing right. But can I be a beacon of light, of right, that somebody might say, I want to see what I can do to shine. How can I be of one spirit? And how can I be a true child of God? Watch this. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. Say, I am God of God. Say it again. I am of God. I, we are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Look, knowing the difference between right or wrong does not make you better than anybody. It just makes you stand for the right thing. Knowing the difference, having the experience and, and the testimony of these things is nothing tainting or bad because we've all been down some roads. Now, for those perfect ones that have never done it or had that experience and always been perfect and always thank you for being here praying for us. But for the majority of us that stand here and say, that was me. I was that. You now know how important it is for someone else to know that they are of God. And stop putting so high a standard on who is of God. It's not our responsibility to be the judge, the jury, and the prosecutor in any matter to whether you're worthy of this position, of you're worthy of this promotion, of you're wor worthy of this elevation. No, no. I'm telling you, in 2021, you better listen to the prophet right now. I'm, I'm putting on the prophet's hat. You know, I am fivefold. Putting on the prophet's hat right now. In 2021, it's going to be a shifting. You're going to see some people today that don't know that their name is on that list. Ooh, that's why, that's why October is our preparation time to get the vessel right. Uh -huh, we fasted 28 days. We got two more days before we come off this fast to go into the next level. Of what God is doing. Remember, we're we going to be out of September into, into October finishing this fast. Watch. We're going to be waking up in a new season in 2020. But I'm telling you now, 2021 is going to be evidence of your faithfulness in God throughout all of this pandemic. You have been tested. You have been tried. And yet you're still being tested. You're still being tried. But the results of your stand is going to provide a way and a door for you to go through. And you're not going to have to knock. Mm. You're not going to have to ask. You're not going to push. You're not going to have to position. You're just going to have to follow Jesus. And just say, thank you, Lord. 
Just say thank you. Yes, and stay humble. Keep, keep going back to Matthew 18. Keep going back to Matthew 18. Keep going back to Matthew 18. Every time I get big headed, that's where I go. Matthew 18. Every time I get a little on me, I go to Matthew 18. Every time, every time, I go back to Matthew 18. I am not afraid to go back to Matthew 18. It is nothing wrong with knowing the familiarity of God's word, the understanding of God's word, the revelation of God's word, to get the application of God's word. And you got to be ready. Let me say, I don't care how young or how old, the season is about to shift. God is releasing this prophetically through me. I'm telling you that, it, I'm, look, when I put on the prophet's hat, it's because God wants me to prophesy. And then somebody said, well, here, I'll give you a prophesy to me. I'm not that type of prophet. I, 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 I prophesy the word of God to everybody. All you got to do is get in, get in line and receive it. And live up to the standard to believe it. Then watch your life achieve it. Ooh, don't sell match you this morning. Oh, somebody fell out. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Minister Shakina. I'll receive it too. This word is coming to me. I receive it. Are you ready? You better be positioned. If you've been sitting around through this whole pandemic saying, I, I can't wait till it's over. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. If you've been sitting around this whole pandemic talking about, Man, look at all this. I go, you, you, you can still got some time to make it up. <laughs> Repent right now. Say, Lord, I, I, I took that wrong. I thought it was a time for me just to be scared and rest. No, it was time for you to really go hard at your craft, really go hard at your gift, really go hard at your ministry. So when God opens the door, you ain't trying to say, oh, I got to get this together. You don't want to be reactive. You want to be proactive. So if you haven't gotten yourself ready, now you can repent and come on with us in preparation time in October, November, and December, getting our vessel ready to cross over. And I'm putting this announcement out now. Crossover 2021 is going on this season. And y'all know with or without one or a hundred is going on. But I need some confirmation, some early confirmations from my covenant partners. If you're going to minister for, for the crossover 2021, I need an inbox today. We're going we're gonna to strategize a little bit better this season. A lot, lot better. No, we'll already have our flyer. We'll already have everything out by the end of November if we follow what God has said. Oh, Minister Shannon's in. Oh. I know Mr. Terry's in. Come on. I need an inbox too. I need you to inbox me and tell me, yes, I want my hour. Now, 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 hold on. Hold on. Somebody said an hour. No. Or hold on. Tell me what you want. And, and, and I guarantee you, I'm going to have a bunch of others. If you say I'm 15 minutes, then I'm going to get four 15 minutes sir, to do one hour. If you say I'm 30 minutes, I'm going to get two people to do an hour. There's no limits to what you can do this season it crossed over 2021. Now, we're giving you an hour. We need to cover 24 hours. We need to cover 24 hours. We do. You want to come on and just sing? You want to come on anything that you want to sow in to cross over 2021? Send me an inbox now so we can get ready for it. Because it's going down. Yes, yes, yes. New flyer, new everything. It's going down. Because I'm telling you, this revelation is coming. Oh, da da ba da 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 ba Revelation is coming. Are you ready? I'm getting ready. <laughs> Events of Virginia, I know you're in. I know you're in. I know, but I'm glad. Hey, inbox me. Even though I say I know you're in, I want you to inbox me. Go on Facebook, text me, and say, Pastor E, I want my hour 30 minutes or i want to assist i want to help i want do i want to do something like oh holy ghost he said oh, we he said we're almost a year or so before we start going virtual we can even do it zoom y'all uh, yeah 2021 revelation crossover we did 2020 remember we do the year we're crossing over into 
2021 revelation crossover. We putting a name on it already. <laughs> now, I want to say this in prophetic because some people say, well, what if I'm not one of them? You cannot, watch this. You cannot doubt that God is God. Minister Shakina said, Zoom. We can do Zoom this year. 24, are y'all ready for 24 hours on Zoom? I am. I'm going to set up, y'all remember last year I, when I did Zoom for somebody else, we set up our stage and everything. We had a, It was like a telethon. Are y'all ready for crossover 2021 on Zoom this year? Look, he said y'all right there ready. I'm ready now. We'll talk more in depth. Let me know. Inbox me. Suggest me. This is just not me putting it in. Y'all let me know. But let me tell you, if you're going to go Zoom, I need you to be dressed to impress. I need you to have your studio on point. I need us to be working on that right now. We need to get a banner. We need to get something to you. Whatever we got to do, you can put a budget together for 2021 crossover. If you want your studio to be down, we're going to have our whole, it's going to be down. Are you ready? Now, back to the prophetic part of what I was saying. Somebody said, well, what if they're the ones that get all of their own TV and I'm not? No, you got you to gotta accept what God has for you. I, and I'm not, that's why I'm not a prophetic one to call your name out and say, this is going to be you right now. Come on, bless my ministry and I'll give you more. No, I'm telling you what's available to us as all believers. He's really no respecter of person. When I speak a prophetic word, that means you can get it too. He's available for you too. But are you going to prepare yourself to receive from God? I am. I am. Yes, I am. And are you? Now, you have to be willing to accept that whatever God has for you is what he wants for you. You guys hear me talk all the time. Is that like, How much money you got? I don't know. Ask Jesus. Can you do this? Can you do that? Ah, uh, Jesus said I can. Never fails me. Never lets me down. I believe right now that if it was a million, trillion, billion dollar project that God had me to, 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 uh, to manage for him, he'll release the funds. Yes, he will. He'll release the funds. Jesus is my accountant. I have everything I need right here. Uh huh. And every time I need it, he gives. And can be sitting there and be like, man, I, ooh, I, I need, I, I want it to be ahead of time. I, I need this stacked up so I know it's done. Uh uh. You better wait on the Lord in that matter and just say, you know what? God got me. And trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. The word of God. And that's just not. That scripture right there, there's a bunch of scriptures for me that are very dear to me that I, I don't just uh, uh, um, uh, quote those scriptures. I live those scriptures. I speak those scriptures because they help me stay in line. It helped me keep my, 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 my confidence level up. It, kept, it helped me keep my mind focused and to be ready for the Lord in and out of season. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you re are you ready? Yes, yes, Minister Shakina. Yes, he will. We are we are all. I'm a witness with you. He will do it. But will you do it? I know. I'm always throwing the questions back at you. We always. It's a good thing that God will do it. But we got to start to understand when will we do it. That's why Minister Shakina can say that 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 he did it because she did it. She waked up. She got up. She moved. She woke up. She got up. She moved. She continued, when, when, now. It wasn't contingent on man. It wasn't contingent on me. It wasn't contingent on bishop. It wasn't contingent on, no, it was contingent on God. And he did it. Because everything God has already, everything God has done is already done. But will we do it? That's the question. Amen. I love you guys. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking. Move in your purpose. I want you to join us tonight on Let's Talk Jesus, Blog Talk radio the now network uh you can listen live you can dial area code 64319 527 six wait, wait, ooh, wait a minute hold on i forgot that number already i, I just said that number so many times 
Uh, I'll get that number out to you right now. I just blanked in my mind, but I know it's 319 uh, Minister Terry put that number up for me. Uh, or look on my page today. Let's talk Jesus with Evangelist Virginia Valentine. The woman of God has a word in her. She professed it when we on Thursday night when we blessed her for her birthday that was coming on Friday. She said, I can't wait till let's talk Jesus on Monday. I got a word. Well, I'm excited to 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 uh, receive from the woman of God tonight, and I want you to be a part of it too. Call tonight, be a part of Blog Talk Radio. Yes. 319-527-6173. 319-527-6173. Again, 319-527-6173. You can call and listen, or there are online links on my page that'll be available today also. And then Wednesday, we'll be back for Wake Up, Get Up, Moving Your Purpose. But I want to put a call out. All my brothers, I said this the other day, and I still haven't gotten any messages. I still haven't gotten an inbox to say, I want to be a part Man Up the Movement on Tuesday nights needs you. We need at least seven brothers to unite that will be committed to Tuesdays or Saturdays. We can shift it. But please get in touch with me and let me know you're interested to be a part of Wake. I mean, uh, Man Up the Movement. Amen. All y'all, if you're my homie, I need you. I'm sending out messages to all the alumni. We used to be 30 strong on Man Up because women, we used to be challenged by women speak now all the time. Now women speak now, just do what they do. With them, I got a challenge for them too because it used to be 30, 40 strong on that one. Not just on the listeners, I'm talking about on the board, on the line that was a part of the call. The, that challenge for both of them, we used to have man up, woman speak now, uh, uh, hot topics, all that. We were breaking bondages of, 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 of race and of color and of gender. It was really a blessing. We need to light that fire back up on this network. We have a free avenue, not charging you anything. Now, we do ask that if you are being blessed here on this network, and God has opened up a door for you on this network, you should sow seed into this network. If you're on this network, you say, you know what? I've never sowed seed there. You need to do it now. I know you didn't think it was important. You, 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 you didn't think it was that important. You didn't think it was a part of it. Well, I'm telling you now, if the Now Network has blessed you, opened up a door for you, given you a platform, you should be sowing into the Now Network. We grow, we get bigger. We still on my budget. <laughs> Which is managed by Jesus. Yes, he could. He could give me a whole network. But what good would that do? When nobody else is willing to build and it didn't be mine. I don't want something that's mine. I want to I want to keep operating what he is. Let's grow this thing. I want to say that again. Holy Ghost just dropped that on me again. If you've never sown into the Now Network and you are part of the Now Network, you should sow into the Now Network. There are many people that used to be a part of the network and they just wouldn't sow. And if you were like you couldn't you had to ask them and you know and all that. God bless you. Go back to work, be healed in your work. Amen. I don't ask. But God told me to say that this morning. If you are part of the Now Network and you got a platform on the Now Network. Maybe you haven't used it yet, but you still got a platform. If you have used it and you haven't sold into this network, you need to sow today. Some been doing it for 10 years. You need to sow big. Go back for how far you haven't sown. You need to sow today. God is watching. He going to give it right back to you. He going to give it right back to you. He just testing to see if you'll do it. That was one of my biggest things. It was like the, all I had to do was sew and it'd be like, wait a minute. I thought I just sold that. I thought I just said I, I, I'd call and get extension on that bill to sew. But I still was still was able to pay it. God is so good. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Now, if you are a member of the Now Church California P2P Ministries or Now Network, you can sew. Uh, Minister Terry has uh, listed in the in the in the comment box. On Facebook, how you can sew Periscope. If you want to sew, you can go to our Cash App, which is dollar sign P S T R two K one. You can go to our Vimo Pastor E two thousand, or go on our website Provoked 
2000now.com. Click on the Covenant Partner link, read that, and you can do one time or join us. Put in the comment box that you want to be a monthly, weekly, or daily sower into this ministry to help us reach the lost, the unsaved of our city, of our county, of our state, of our country. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you guys. God bless you. And uh, every offering received has been received and the harvest is already back at you. God sees your faithfulness and your joy in giving and will bless you like never before. Family, we love you guys. God bless you. Talk to you tonight. Let's talk Jesus with Evangelist Virginia Valentine. Facebook, don't hang up. You already know. What's up, Minister Ernest King? You have to come back and listen to the broadcast. Uh, I apologize. We are at the end of it as you came on, but God bless you anyway. Mr. Terry, good morning. Pastor Dwayne Collins, good morning. Pastor Brian Washington, good morning. Minister Evangelist Prophetess Shakina Vale, good morning. You and your beautiful family, the, the prophet, the, the deacon, the whole, the whole anointing of your house. Uh, Minister Jamil K. Harris, good morning. Evangelist of Virginia Valentine, good morning. Uh, hold on, woman of God. I'll call you right back. I'm ending up on the Facebook side. Okay, call me, call me back. I'll call you right back. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Angie LaRose, good morning. God bless you. Uh, Minister Tritees Daniels, what's up, H-Town? I, I was just there. I didn't see you guys this time. But my next trip, you know where I'm going to be at. Minister Shannon, good morning. Prophetess Kathy Armstrong, good morning. Prophet David, what's up, bro? Minister, Pastor uh, Gail Fallon. I don't know if you have a title or not. Minister Gail Fallon, oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, amen, I don't want to overstep with nobody. It, Amen. And all those that will come later, those that didn't comment, I didn't see your name. God bless you. Um, I, it was great to uh, join with you today and just know that you are loved, honored and appreciated. Um, don't leave here without knowing that you are God's greatest miracle. Any negativity, stop listening. Stop answering. Stop looking and trust God. Watch. Everything is already all right. Wake up. Get up, move in your purpose. We'll talk to you tonight on Let's Talk Jesus with Evangelist Virginia. And then Let's Talk Jesus, I mean, uh, and then wake up, get up, move in your purpose on Wednesday. Amen. Love you guys.